Ted, if ever there was a fight to sum up what the British title means, that was it. It was brilliant. It was brutal. Try and sum up how you're feeling, what it means to you to have that Lonsdale belt on your shoulder again. As you stepped out the ring, you said, I'm back. Two years on 6th of April, I'm back free. Road to recovery. I've improved and improved and improved. That's the best I've boxed ever as a pro. And all I keep doing is getting better and better. I'm still only a young man, 25. I showed you my man strength there. I boxed there, I fought there, I toughed it out, I bullied him. Listen, I beat Kieran Conway, I beat Scott Fitzgerald, I beat Sam Egerton, and now I've just beat James Metcalf. I'm number one in the British team. Everyone said Ted's got done too many hard fights, too many hard fights. He took the mileage out of him. I looked fresher tonight. I took too many, f I looked fresher than ever tonight. I looked, I felt good. When I was going into that last round, I still had plenty left. I could have done 15 rounds tonight. Me and Tony have trained really hard. We've kept improving. When I boxed for Kieran Conway, I just come out of rehab, I was improving. Scott Fitzgerald, improving. But what I've done is I fought one fight, I boxed the whole the other. Now look, you see, I'm mixing it. I'm using my experience and boxing when I need to and fighting when I need to. I had a couple of rounds rest there tonight after I had a big start. Took my time, let him try and sink a bit out of me. But I knew what I was doing, and I stepped on the gas when there's a championship round and took him out of there. I think everyone at home can sort of feel the energy. You're absolutely buzzing. What do you want to do next? What does the future hold for the big cheese? You know what? I, I said it in the changing room before I come here. Usually, I box tonight. By Tuesday latest, I text Charlie, can you get me this fight? Can you get me that fight? Can I get on this show? But you know what? I've got a young family at home. I've been in training camp for a long time. I want to go home, spend some time with my family, let Tony and Charlie sort out what they want to do next and just soak it up again. I'm British champion again. I should have never lost it. I should have been winning the belt outright this time. But life goes on. The story carries on. Please take a rest. You've earned it. Promoter Eddie Hearn, you must be over the moon with your charge. Ted Cheeseman there, um, who's been in the dark parts of the sport and he's also in enjoying the high notes now with the British title again. Well, it's an amazing story and that, you know, you could have put that fight in black and white, it could have been in the 20s, the 30s, the 40s. It was a throwback fight and he's a throwback fighter at 25. It's amazing to think he's only 25. He worked so hard, so pleased for Tony Sims and Charlie Sims. And he's right, you know, he should have probably beaten Kieran Conway, the Scott Fitzgerald fight. He believed he won that fight. It was a very close fight as well. He's earned the right in this tremendous crop of domestic 154 pounders. He's the number one. He is the number one. You know, the only domestic fight I see out there for him now in a big, big fight is Anthony Fowler. Beyond that, I think he's earned the right to kick on and move on, whether that's a European title or even step up and have a big fight internationally as well. You know, he's still learning. The first five or six rounds, I thought he was tremendous tonight. Big shout to JJ Metcalf, who, how he was still standing after, I think, the fourth round. Incredible. You know, big tribute to both men. You're right. That British title means a lot. You know, we, we come from an era now where belts get diluted. They don't mean what they used to. But that belt is a belt that all British fighters want to win. And he dug in because he wanted to win that British title tonight. He felt it should never have been taken off him. And like I said, the 154-pound division is red hot. But after that performance, and when you look at his resume and the fights that he's been in, he sits at the top of the pile, and he deserves to call the shots if he wants to fight domestically now. So it's up to Tony and Charlie what they want to do, but it's a great performance of a man. Remember, 25 years of age. And by the way, does Ted Cheeseman not give you anything but value for money every time he steps in a ring? Tremendous performance, tremendous fight, exactly what British boxing is all about. Well said. Congratulations, Ted. One thing. Go ahead. Are you going to remind Eddie that when we're next negotiating? <laughs> <laughs> Clip it up, send it to him.